Hello everyone, um, so this is Dr. Hanbal Ghafari. He will be showing us how to do a upper GI endoscopy. So the important things with the upper GI endoscopy is Hanbal's right hand is holding the scope. His left hand is holding the control wheels. So the main buttons we will use are the one at the top and the one at the top does suctioning. The one at the bottom has a hole. When Hanbal holds this hole together, it will inflate and when he presses on it, it will clean the lens. Hanbal is holding it with three fingers here, with his second finger free to press on the buttons and his lead thumb ready to use the big wheel. So the big wheel, as Dr. Ghaffari will show us, controls the scope's movement going up and down. So that's Dr. Ghaffari pulling down on the wheel and that's him going the opposite direction. So one important thing with upper GI endoscopy is we actually don't use the small wheel that much. Dr. Ghaffari will show us how using his left hand he's able to maneuver the right hand. So if you go down to six o'clock Dr. Ghaffari and then show us with your hand how you would rotate the wheel. So all good? Yeah. Yeah, so you can either use your right hand for talk or you can use your left hand. So can you demonstrate with your left hand Dr. Ghaffari? Mm -hmm. So at the level of the wrist Dr. Ghaffari will make a movement which will make the scope go in the inverted direction. Good. So now, when we are doing esophageal intubation, which is the first aspect, we have the patient in the left lateral position. We have a mouth guard in, and the important thing that Dr. Ghaffari will do is he will orientate himself so that he knows exactly what will happen when he presses down on the wheel. So Dr. Ghaffari wants the scope to go at nine o'clock, which will be the natural direction that the esophagus will go parallel to the mouth. So Dr. Ghaffari is doing his golf swing where he knows that it's going at nine o'clock. This is an important step and probably something I do every single time before I do an endoscopy. The next thing is he will center the scope into the middle of the mouth. So he's having a look and then once he's sure it's in the middle, he's looking at the screen to make sure it goes right along the middle of the tongue. As he moves forward, he's pushing down on his wheel. Now he can see the vocal cords and in a real life patient under the left or right side, you'll see the peripheral fossa. So Dr. Ghaffari normally um, would go left to right, but obviously in this uh, dummy scenario, it's right in the middle. So he's kept everything right in the middle. He knows exactly which way the wheel is going to go um, and the scope is going to go when he presses down and he centers everything right in the middle. So now he has gone through the peripheral fossa into the esophagus. This part is relatively straightforward. You try and keep everything in the middle, push forward until you get to the GOJ and the Z line. Once you're at the GOJ, then you kind of want to make a bit of a movement to the left. And in an ideal scenario, you follow the lesser curve to go down into the duodenum. So this is the GOJ and Dr. Kofari is going to go down. In this scenario, it's a bit difficult because normally you'd inflate, but this uh, dummy scope does not have an inflate button. So now we're in the stomach. Dr. Ghaffari would go straight and then normally here is where you would encounter the pylorus and your entry into the duodenum. Dr. Ghaffari will now show us what a J maneuver is. So a J maneuver is the way that we look at the fundus. So if you notice there, he pulled back fully on the wheel to look back on itself and then now he's pushing down on the scope. And if he keeps on doing that, the scope will be visible on itself. So can you show us that Dr. Ghaffari? Yeah, sure. So he's pulling back on the wheel pushing forward and if you look it's now back turned on itself this is something called a J maneuver and it's very important for us to look at the funders to make sure we haven't missed anything Dr. Ghaffari has just shown us a 360 degree movement can you show us that again so if you look he's doing it with his hand at the level of his wrist that's in a very important maneuver for OGDs and now he's going to straighten the scope and obviously on in endoscopy we look at everything carefully on the way back that is pretty straightforward he just has to make sure everything's in the center and he's slowly pulling back, slowly pulling back, slowly pulling back. And we can see we're back into the esophagus and he's having a good look at everything, making sure it's straight. Visualization is very important on the way back. And um, we're back at the level of the vocal cords. And that is a endoscopy without duodenal um, intubation.